Hi guys, welcome back to Sameer CAD. In this video, I'll show you how to drag drop various file types to AutoCAD workspace. First of all, I'll drag drop a drawing file. When you drag drop a drawing file, AutoCAD automatically invokes the insert command. Now you are asked to select the insertion point. I'll pick to define the insertion point. Then I'm asked to give the scale factor in X and Y directions. I'll give enter. Now rotation angle, I'll give enter to accept the original orientation. Now when you take the cursor onto this object, you can see that it is a block reference. Next, I'll drag drop a PDF file to the workspace. Now I'm asked to select the number of pages. If the PDF was made up of more than one pages, you can choose any desired page. I would like to insert the first page. So give an enter. Now I'm asked to select the insertion point. I'll pick a point here. Then the scale factor is one. I'll give enter and I can give a rotation angle. If required, I'll give enter. Now I'll double tap the scroll wheel to give a zoom extents. Now when you take the cursor onto this object, you can see that it is a PDF overlay. Next, I'll drag drop an image file onto the workspace. Now I am asked to give the insertion point. I'll pick a point over here. You can drag to specify the scale factor or you can give a numeric value. I'll drag and pick a point here. Now rotation angle, I'll give an enter. Now the image file is inserted. When you take the cursor onto this object, you can see that it is inserted as a raster image. Next, I'll drag drop a text file onto the workspace. It is inserted as a text file. When you take the cursor onto this object, you can see that it is inserted as a multi-line text. From this, it is clear that drag dropping a text file is the best and the easiest method to create a multi-line text file with several lines of text. This completes the tutorial on drag dropping some of the common types of files to AutoCAD workspace. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and subscribe to Sabir CAD YouTube channel. Thanks for your time.